country, this season's number one new show that airs Fridays at nine on CBS and Paramount Plus. Congratulations, it is an absolute <laughs> smash. People are going crazy for this show. What, tell us about, what, what was it about it that inspired you to come up with this idea and create, produce, write and star in this absolute smash hit? <laughs> First, I'm, I'm, I think I'm out of my mind. It's like crazy, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. But uh, I was actually, I was driving to work one day and with my buddy AJ Buckley from SEAL Team and we were kind of sitting there going back and forth and talking about firefighting. And you know, I grew up in this small town in Northern California. Uh, a lot of my friends, like the community is very much a firefighting community. And uh, a lot of my friends work for this department and it all sort of felt normal to me, like, cause mm -hmm. I was already, always around it and had seen it. And I started telling him about it and he's like, dude, this is a show. And I'm like, you think? He's like, yeah. And then the more I sort of started telling people, uh, when I started talking about the inmate firefighter program, you know, a couple years ago, it wasn't as known and people were like, what do you mean there's inmates who fight fire? Mm. And right alongside, you know, regular firefighters, I'm like, yeah. And uh, started just building out the world and, you know, a lot of the inspiration came from this crazy little country town that I grew up in and people I grew up with, you know, the chief. And, you know, I basically, like, I, I didn't know what I was doing at first. I'm like, I've never pitched a show. Mm. What, do I, what do I do? And so uh, I pulled pictures of my friends from, like, Facebook, from, like, their wife's Facebook pages, you know, because these guys, <laughs> they don't even have Facebook, these dudes. And so mm. I'm, like, getting pictures of them. And, uh, you know, I put together a little sizzle reel, wrote this big document and I'd send it back and forth to my agents and be like, yo, is this enough? Like, give us a little more, okay. How about this? Like, no, not it's too much. And so it was this whole sort of process and uh, yeah, here, here we are, you know. It's, well, it's, the, the show is so great. You don't have a good track record with fire either, nah. right? <laughs> what happened to you? Uh, I made a candle bomb once by accident. What's a candle bomb? Uh, okay, so I had a candle and I, I liked, in my apartment I have a bunch of candles. I like, you know, I like the way they smell. Like, it smells good. And so, and so yeah, I, You're a modern man, you like a bath. Uh, <laughs> modern you like man. taking a bath, this is a Kenny G, why not? So, hey, Let's do it. My yeah. Epsom salt bath, sure. you know, my salts in there, yeah. whatever. So I light this candle, I mm -hmm. sleep all night, the candle stays on throughout the night. Well, I forgot a, to put it that's out. That's a mistake. Yeah. Not yeah. smart, not smart. So I get up in the morning, it's like 8 a.m. I go to take a shower. I go into my room, and I see that the candle is no longer just a candle. The flame is extending like a foot and a half past the rim of the candle. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, there's a little bit of a fire. It's contained. I'm not freaking out. So I have cold coffee. So I grab the coffee mug and I throw it on the, on the, on the little candle. And something about the coffee and the candle together just erupted into this like massive ball of flame. And I like fell back. I was like, oh! And I was living with my sister, her boyfriend, and my friend at the time. My friend had like just turned the corner and seen this massive explosion in my room. I come back, I look, I get blown back. I see everything, there's fire all over the place. And so I like take the towel off and just put it on everything. <laughs> and it was gone and that was it, but they took away my right to like- Well, that it. is the <laughs> advice. <laughs> that is the advice. Don't throw water onto, I know it seems like you should, you want a nice, damp it was cloth a towel yeah. to lay that on that's true. and you'll do that and it's a it's a it's a lesson for all of us that's true to that's why they call it a naked flame <laughs> reggie do you have a question for our guests right. this evening i really do this evening and tonight's question i would like to uh initiate a drum roll and then i'll cut that drum roll off and then i'll kind of redirect attention here <laughs> so if you are in some kind of a car right and you're driving and you know that you have to jump uh, like a certain distance to clear like over a small creek or something like that because you got some like some like critters that know how they're intelligent somehow through genetic testing and they're able to drive vehicles and they're chasing behind you yeah. right so like a raccoon just going you know whatever that kind of stuff and also maybe some hooping and hollering like woo hey i'm gonna get you something like that <laughs> and you're driving a vehicle and you know that the only way to escape is you have to jump over this creek um kind of maybe dukes of hazard style um wh like what do you what would you do would you do that or would you like just stand down and try to fight them or just simply think that it's maybe a simulation and then yell into the sky end simulation I think I'd just throw it in reverse and mm. try and try and go for the back up over him move. No, I'll tell you exactly what I would do, Reggie. I'm happy you asked that question. <laughs> I am. I've been thinking about this a long time. I'm going to be honest with you. I would pull the stone from the back seat of the car forward. 
I would plant it on the gas pedal. I would open the window. I'd climb outside of the car onto the hood of the car. I'd wait until we got to the apex of our curve off that jump Dukes had hazard. And then I would jump when the car started to go down. And I would scream, yeehaw, take that raccoons. <laughs> and then I would, I would just land on the other side. Branch? Both of those answers are correct. They Thank are you. absolutely correct. Please thank our incredible guest, Noah Centenaire, Max Terrier, the syncopated ladies are here when we come back.